Hello everyone, and welcome back to Jesse Heck Creative. Today we're going over the Sonic the Hedgehog Oil Ocean Quest playset from Jack Specific. Before we begin, make sure to hit that like button and smash that subscribe button. Now let's get to it. Here is the box for the Sonic the Hedgehog Oil Ocean Quest Classic version. We have Sonic, Knuckles, and an Octus right over here with some obelisk towers, as well as a burner cat platform right over here. Everything is detailed on the back with more figures of future waves in here, and Fang is on the back over there, can't wait to get him. We have Sonic on both sides of the packaging, as well as the top and the bottom is all legalese. Let's open this thing. The background of the box looks super cool. I love the pixelation, as well as that shine. Looks really great. And here's all the figures in the plastic. And taking everyone out of the packaging, it's pretty easy for Sonic to get out, but Knuckles is just a pain. Let's try the Octus over here. Get that out of there. It's kind of wrapped in, but we just sort of unspooled it a little bit from its housing. Taking these out is kind of a bummer, but yeah, let's work on Knuckles. Getting that out over here is really awful. There he is. We got him out. Got rid of the plastic, and we have... Taking a look at classic Sonic, he looks really cute. I love how he looks. The little smile is adorable. The eyes are done really well. The nose is awesome, too. The ears are painted nicely, and the quills are really great on his head. Very awesome for that. We do have a swivel for this part over here. For his... We have a nice paint for his stomach. Looking really great over there, as well as his little glow. Gloves. They're just awesome and really cute. He has one holding hand and one other holding hand. That's pretty interesting. No fist or anything. On the back, we do have two more quills as well as his tail looking great over there. And his shoes are really nice also looking really cute and great. Those big socks are nice as well. And he has two peg holes at the bottom of his feet. The stripes are painted pretty okay on there too. Looks really nice. And for articulation, he does have some nice articulation going up and down over here as well as a swivel with a swivel over here as well as back and forth for that. And for the same on the other side. Very nice. Classic Sonic stands at about, I would say, two and a quarter inches tall. Next to my kit bash, Amy and Tails, looking nicely in scale. Next to Mighty and Ray, go Team Classic Sonic. Taking a look at Knuckles, he's a little bit taller than Sonic, but no less awesome. I do like how he looks. Really cool over here. The dreads are awesome. And yes, we've seen this figure before. The head can move a little bit over here. The crest looks really nice. His smile is awesome. The eyes are painted on really well. And his nose looks really good too. I do like how his arms can move through his dreads. It's pretty awesome going up and down as well as a swivel all the way around being careful with that his knuckles are really great also the gloves are awesome too same glove on the other side as well as articulation his toes and his feet and his shoes are just amazing really great over here with some pickles in the bottom over there as well as little lego bricks down here looking awesome with a swivel and then a hinge up pretty far hinge back pretty far for knuckles looking really nice over here pretty awesome classic knuckles stands at about i would say two and a half inches tall or so next Next to my kit bashed Amy and Tails, looking nicely in scale. Next to Mighty and Ray, go Team Chaotix. Octus is a brand new bad Nick, and I love how he looks. His head's very cute. It's really adorable. The eyes are really nicely done, as well as the snoot, the snout. It's awesome. Rivets over here, pretty nicely over there, as well as this piece over here that reminds me of something on the Death Egg robot. I don't like this over here. That's kind of a shame. You could have put it down there. It would have been fine, but yeah, it's just really nicely done on this piece. His head can rotate, and he does have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight little tentacle things for his octopod kind of nature. Really awesome for this figure. Super cool. I really love how this all looks up for that, but yeah, this is just great. Another new badnik for the collection. Here's Octus next to Sonic and Knuckles looking really cool together, very nicely in scale. Octus stands at about one and three quarters inches tall or so. Next to Motobug and Buzz Bomber. Next to Burrowbot and Chopper. Next to Neutron and Rhinobot. Next to Caterkiller and Crab Meat. Next to Eggman and Mecha Sonic. Next to Egg Robo and Metal Sonic. Hello everyone and thank you so much for watching so far. Make sure to click like, subscribe, share, leave a comment, and hit the bell icon for more creativity. Now let's get back to it. The first obelisk tower with the red gem looks really nice. I do like these round pieces going around here as well as on the bottom. It looks like a missile almost and it can pay God to something which is pretty neat. We also have over here a rotating gem that looks really nice. I love this piece. It's really cool. It'd be great they can make these in different colors but that would be a different kind of chaos emerald, would it? But yeah, it's a nice piece. Looks really cool. It would be great on some kind of diorama. The second obelisk tower looks really great. I love the yellow and green with the purple. They look so nice. There is a little button thing over here. Looks pretty cool as well as 
has these parts over here looking nice as well. I do like how this rotates up here. The gem inside does not rotate, just stays stationary, but you can rotate this, it's pretty fun. There's another peg hole in the bottom for a playset or whatever. It'd be nice to have an oil ocean playset. But yeah, I don't know what this little button is, but I do like how this looks. Similar to the other one, but a little bit taller, and I don't know if it's cool or it's not, but they're both equally cool, I think. The burner cap platform is really nice. I love the gold on it. It's so cool, as well as the green and the purpley kind of piece down here with an interesting hole in the bottom for pegging onto something. I'm not sure what that is. It can move. You can press this down as a nice noise. Little springy, little cool. Very nicely done though. I love how it looks from the top, all sides, all the way around. It's a nice piece and looks great. Putting Sonic on the burner cap platform is awesome. Just spring him away and he falls off a little bit. Same with Knuckles. He's a little bit heavier though. Let's try it out. And he stays pretty much. That's awesome. Very nice. Go Knuckles, go. The green and yellow obelisk tower stands at about, I would say, three and a half inches tall to three and a quarter inches tall. The red obelisk tower stands at about two and a quarter to two and a half inches tall. And the burner cap platform Form stands at about one and a quarter to one and a half inches tall or so. Next to Sonic, next to Knuckles, next to Octus. But of course, knowing me, I had to get two of these sets. And while I mostly did it for one purpose, I do like having these obelisks. They're super cool, especially in pairs. Not only do I get two burner cap platforms with the ability to press twice as much with these, but I also get two octuses. Octusi? Maybe, I guess. But these are awesome together. They're super cool and really unique. One head moves a little bit faster than the other, but they're really cool to have in pairs. And if you hold this all in one hand, it looks like a really cool pen with its own built-in inkwell. But not really, though. It can't really write at all. Overall, a two-fifths polluted playset. While we have seen Sonic in every single playset and basically wave to date, Knuckles is kind of a bad excuse for a figure in this wave. I feel like they could have put Tails in here, which would have been much better to the Sonic 2 theming, but I guess they're going for Sonic Mania. I do like the obelisks, and they look really cool. However, I feel like there isn't any platform for them to go on. It's a shame there's nothing here. The Burner Cap platform, despite its forgettable name for me at least, looks really nice and it has a really cool function. But the star of the show here is Octus, looking really awesome, and despite the minimal articulation, I really love how it looks. If you're a fan of Sonic the Hedgehog, you probably already have this playset already. But if not, I would highly recommend on just waiting for Octus to make it to store shelves solo. But make no mistake, wait, why can't it be Olive Oil Ocean? That would be much better. So which piece of this playset is your favorite? Sonic, Knuckles, Octus, either of the obelisks, or the Burner Cap platform? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching Jesse Heck Creative. Make sure to click like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. You can also visit us at jessieheckcreative.com for more reviews like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and keep being creative. Stay tuned.